uh, event. Really proud of our conferences coming together and doing this in honor and Coach Gavin. I, I think it's great. Um, you know, uh, Artie Parks from the last Big Ten team to come into the Dunkin' Donuts Center was somewhere around 1998. So, in getting what the conference is looking for, competitive, really competitive early game, I think that showed that tonight, as well as last night with Georgetown and Maryland, I think, I think we're getting some really competitive games. Uh, wasn't a great offensive game today on either side. I thought both teams played extremely hard. Uh, plays were being made all over the place. Uh, we were really fortunate to win. They had a couple of shots late to win the game. But today, as I told our players, I thought today was a culture win. I thought we showed some grittiness. I thought our young guys all contributed well. We didn't shoot the ball well, but I thought we rebounded and defended at a really, really, really level tonight. So uh, really proud of our guys, uh, proud of the team effort. Uh, and we're looking forward to playing a, a very good Brown team here Saturday. Did you think you'd be ready to play defensively like that this early in the year? I think they had two points in the last six minutes. Well, I mean, we've been really concentrating on it. And, you know, when I go back to our exhibition game against Stonehill, I thought, you know, that was a D-minus effort. And then against uh, Northeastern and our close scrimmage, I thought we had a C-plus. Then I thought when we played Harvard, we got to a uh, probably a D-minus. And today I thought we had a D, B plus effort. It's all about effort, concentration, uh, and just being, you know, being relentless. And I thought our team had a a relentless personality defensively today. Offensively, did you think the one three one that uh, was playing was causing problems? Or? I don't think it caused any problems. We actually scored on it uh, multiple times, and we had wide open looks at the basket. You know, I think we're a pretty good shooting team. Hopefully, over the course of the year, that shows. Um, you know, it, you know, they got a couple of stops in it, but we were totally, totally prepared for that. You know, in our scouting, we start coming. They do a really good job with it. I thought we just missed some wide open looks. Hopefully, when we see that again, because we're definitely going to see that type of defense with one of the teams in our league, uh, we'll be more prepared for it with respect to making shots. How much was this a learning lesson? Chris in foul trouble, Rodney in foul trouble, trying to play through that, and maybe finding other guys to step up. For it's a team game. I mean, everybody around the country continues to talk about Chris, and he's earned that right to be talked about. But this is a team game. I think our players are getting better by the day. Uh, you know, Ben and Rodney will anchor a lot of that with Chris. But the younger guys, and his stat line, his stat line is all zeros. And I think he had one of the biggest impacts in the game today. And that was Drew Edwards. <laughs> you know, so, you know, for the, for the professional eye that watches basketball, he had an impact in this game because of the energy and toughness he brought to us defensively. Talk about the job that Ben did. Obviously, rebounding was a big concern and it was uh, even. Sure. You know, gang rebound, uh, you know, uh, we, we talked about it all week in our preparation about how good of a rebounding team they are. You know, that's something that you can tell that their coach uh, does a great job at teaching. Uh, I like their team a lot. I really do. For them to be beat up the way they are, basically missing three or four starters to be that competitive and that young. That team is going to win a lot of games in the Big Ten. So I, I think John's doing an unbelievable job, and uh, Illinois is fortunate to have him. Can you be a better rebounding team than maybe people think? You know, we're just going to try to take it one opportunity at a time. Uh, you know, gang rebound is our mentality. Don't leave it up to just one guy. I think collectively at Providence College, we have to be a good team rebounding, not so much an individual rebounding team. Ben, what does it say about our night when Chris is off kilter that you guys were able to person there? Hold on. Um, Coach already said it is a team game, and uh, we love him. And when he's not having a good night, you know, we, we pick him up. And he told us, hey, I believe in y'all, and I know y'all are going to go get it. So we stepped up. Did he express any frustration? No. Half time? No. No. No, you know, uh, at halftime we talked about there were really many defensive adjustments to make. Uh, we just had to continue to be confident and shoot the ball. I think what we'll work on over the next couple of days, I thought we took quick shots, not good shots. And we got to do a better job on our offense taking like higher percentage shots. Like we were getting one pass, shooting, versus, you know, getting the rhythm a little bit. Uh, so, 
that's on me. I'll do a better job coaching that. I got to do a much better job doing our, our guys have confidence now. We got to give them a little bit more rhythm. Late defensive switch, uh, obviously games in the balance there. Why did you do it? Gut, you know, uh, you know, I, I really do think we're getting better man to man, and I think we have the best defensive player in the country, and Chris. Uh, you know, I mean, he was big time in the last six minutes, just with his alertness, and then the players. I think the players feed off of him defensively. Big time block, big time deflection came up with a loose ball that they actually got back and scored on. I think that was the only two points in the last six minutes of the game. It kind of was a fluke play. And again, it was gut. You know, they made eight or nine threes against our zone. And, you know, I think they took the lead. And, you know, we, it just was a gut feeling uh, for me to, to make that decision. Are you going to emphasize free throw shooting in practice? Great question. I'm going to fire the free throw coach. And so I'm going to fire myself and hire somebody else because we didn't do a really good job. We were fortunate to win. We really were. Ben, man to man late. I mean, could you feel that, you know, extra intensity down the stretch? Um, I mean, as Coach said, when we went man, I felt like uh, everybody was locked in. And we were sitting in the zone. And he was, I guess he was playing really good in the zone, but. By doing the stretch, we wanted to go man. We like, you know, he gonna guard your man and make sure he doesn't score. For this young team to come out and play that great, you know, a lot of those guys that were on the floor really didn't have a lot of game time at, on this particular floor. Rodney never been in a situation like that. Jalen didn't get a ton of minutes. You know, Kyron consistently in four straight outings is coming and totally changed the tempo and the pace of the game. I thought he was fantastic today. Eight points, six or seven assists, whatever he had. Um, you know, one turnover to play at that pace. Little by little, he's getting there. This is good for our league. Uh, I'm proud of our league to play in a game like this. Uh, I'm going to be cheering for the rest of our league as we continue to play in these Gabbard games and understand why we're playing. Well, we're honoring one of the true legends of not just college basketball, but basketball around the world on how he transformed a lot of thought so uh, kudos to the Gallic family. Any more questions? See,